Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will talk about a very important concept in Microsoft Excel that is pivot tables. So what are pivot tables and why is it used? We will discuss about this in this video. What is pivot table? Pivot table is a table of grouped values that aggregates the individual items of a more extensive table. Right, so it can be a spreadsheet, it can be a database. For example, in this scenario, this table you have, right, so these are the records of the sales. So if you want to aggregate in, maybe you, if you want to filter out, what is my sales of motorcycles, right? So this is the product line. I can filter out only motorcycles. And then I'll see what is my sales. Let me see where is the sales column. This is the sales. So the sum of all these records, right? This is 11,66,000. This will be the sum of sales of motorcycles. But this is not the correct approach. If you want to see the sales of all the product lines at one go, and if you want to filter out month wise, quarter wise or year wise, then it is recommended that you can do pivot. So before that, I'll just brief you about this particular sales data, right? In column A, you can see this is the order number. Then what is the quantity ordered? Then what is the price of each quantity? And this is order line number. Then this is a very important column. This is sales, right? And then this is a status. If this is shipped, disputed or on hold, then quarter, month, year. So this is the timeline that is shown. Then this is the product line. It can be motorcycle. It can be classic cars. It can be planes, ships, trains, trucks and buses, vintage cars. All right. What is the MSRP of each product line, product code, customer name, city, country, territory? What is the contacts, last name? what is the first name and what is the deal size deal size can be small medium or large all right so now we have a brief understanding of the data set how to use or what we can say is how to apply a pivot right so for that you need to click on insert go to pivot table you just click the pivot table there would be a pop-up and it will select the table for you and choose where you want the pivot table to be placed. So I'll just click new worksheet. Okay. All right. So this is the pivot table. So if I want to see the sales of each and every category, right? So what is the category column name? That is something with product, right? So I can just drag the product line in the rows. So now here I can see all the products, classic cars, motorcycles and all these product lines. So what is the sales of each product line? So I can drag sales column to values. So you can see it is so easy. You can see the sum of each and every product at one go. And if you want to see it year wise, so you can have, you can just make this year underscore ID column drag this in columns and you can just filter out year wise right so all these product year wise you can see the sale to make it more clean you can just use comma style to make it more readable all right so what else is there so if you want to calculate something let's say you want to calculate the 10 percent of total revenue Right, so how you do that? For that, you need to click on pivot table analyze, click on fields, items and sets and click on calculated fields. You can name this uh, maybe discount on revenue. The formula can be 10% that is 0 0.1 multiplied by revenue that is sales. All right, so this is 0 0.1 into sales, 10% only. All right, okay. So as soon as I clicked OK, you can see for each and every year, you can see the sum of discount on revenue. All right, so for ease, 
I'll just remove the year column. Now you can see this is my sum of sales. This is my calculated column. This is 10% of these sales. You can see 10% of 39 lakhs would be roughly around 3 lakhs 91,000. Right. So this is how you can create the calculated columns. All right. So this is how you use pivot table. So here what we can do is what else we can do. For example, if you want to analyze the data with respect to timeline, I'll just remove the product line for now and remove this as well. Right. I'll just insert the year quarter and month oops one second yeah now it is fine so you can see this is year quarter and month now I want to see sales I'll just drag the sales column in the values you can see here I'll just collapse all these quarters yeah so you can see year wise what is your sales you can see quarter wise what is the sales then uh, you can see each and every quarter and if you want to further drill down and want to see month wise you can see month wise as well so quarter one maybe january february march so in january 2020 this is the sale february march all right so this is how you can bifurcate and again if you want to add the product line over here so you can just add anywhere if you want to add this after the timeline you can do that as well so let me just drag that where is it one second all right so somewhere yeah so now here it is the product line all right yeah so this is how you want it on top it is the product line then uh, year wise you can see for this particular product now one more thing we can do we can filter out as well for example you don't want product line here all right i'll just remove this you want a filter on product line i'll just select product line and drag to filters area right from here you can filter out one particular product line. For example, if you want to filter out for classic cars, you want to see or analyze the data for classic cars. I'll just click classic cars and click OK. You'll see the data is changed and this is only for classic cars. And if you want to select multiple fields, so you click here, select multiple items and you can select classic cars or planes. Right. And you can see the data for both. All right, so this is how you use pivot table and there are so many other things that can be done right so one more thing i'll just show in pivot table i'll show you how to create the chart from pivot so i'll just have my same product line versus sales data product line in rows and sales in the values form right i'll just unfilter all the products that we filtered in the previous example all right so this is how it is I just want to have a basic bar chart for example so what I'll do is I'll just go to pivot table analyze I'll click pivot chart I want this kind of chart bar chart right or you can have line chart it will show like this or you can have a pie chart will show the share of each and every product area is like this column chart is this bar is like this or you can have uh, x y a scatter no you can't have this all right so if if i have to analyze this in the chart the best suited would be column chart i can use any stacked or uh, 3d stacked column all right so now you can see this data from here easily can understand classic cars is number one in terms of total sales right second is vintage cars third you can say maybe trucks and buses or motorcycles or maybe both are equal right so what we can do is i can add data labels right but it's not looking good maybe because of what area crunch what we can do is we can add the table as well 
at the bottom and remove the data labels so here you can see the data and analyze as per that all right so you if you want to add the access titles you can do that from here if you want to remove access also you can do that so it depends your requirements and how you want to represent the data right so this is uh, the pivot chart all right guys so this is how you use the pivot charts or pivot tables and if you want to add one more pivot table here on the same worksheet so i'll just click somewhere else and i'll just click on insert and pivot table so it will ask it will pop up for what is the table range right so what i'll do is i'll just click on this and i'll go to sample sales data and then i'll go control shift and page down so all the data has been selected right and i'll click ok so again now there is one more pivot table on the same worksheet right so this is very helpful sometimes so if you want to analyze year wise so i'll just click and drag year for here and then i'll have sales let's say all right or what i'll do is this time i'll have order number in the values i'll remove sales and this should be count I'll change here value field setting and I'll select choose the type of calculation that you want to use to summarize the data. So I'll just select count so that I can see what is the number of orders that I have uh, received in each year, right? I'll just click OK. All right. So total you have received 2823 orders in the month in the year 2029, sorry, 2019. You have received total 478 in 2020 you have received 1000 and in 2021 you have received 1345 so this is how you can analyze the data right you can have two pivots in the same worksheet you can have pivot charts you can make the reports out of it it is very useful very useful all right guys so this is it in this particular video about pivots in microsoft excel if you have any question regarding excel or uh, related to pivot charts pivot table what are the advanced tricks so you can comment below and i'll make a video on that or at least i can comment back so that you can understand the concept thanks a lot for watching this video guys thank you